In this video, I will show you two ways to find the protein concentration of unknown sample. To determine the concentration of your protein of interest in unknown samples, the standard curve needs to be constructed with known concentrations that give known absorbances. The absorbance is measured at specific wavelength and plotted against the concentration. So here is an example, protein concentration found in grams per liter and absorbance at 610 nanometer. The first thing you need to do is select all these values, go to insert and select a scatter plot. So this is your standard curve. You can add the axis titles, which is protein concentration in grams per liter and absorbance at 610 nanometer. Then you select the dots, right click, add trend line. This format chart line section will open, scroll down, and display equation on chart. So this is the equation of the line that is needed to find the protein concentration. You can clear these to make the graph look better. So one way to find the protein concentration is a simple one that you put equal sign, type trend, double click on trend, select the known protein concentrations, comma, absorbance values, comma, select the absorbance of your protein of interest that is measured through an assay, close the bracket and press enter. So this is the protein concentration of an sample in grams per liter. Another way of calculating the protein concentration is through the equation of the line that we find in here. So y is the absorbance value, m is the slope of the line, x is the protein concentration that we need to find, and B is the y-intercept. In order to find the protein concentration, we need to rearrange this equation in this way. So you put the y-intercept to the other side of the equation and you divide it by the slope. In order to do that, you put an equal sign, open the bracket, you select the absorbance that we found minus y-intercept, close the bracket, divide it by the slope, and press enter. Again, this is the protein concentration of unknown sample in grams per liter. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.